Yeah, mate, so I'm a purple spinner of Blessed Beats. A while back, I corresponded with a beat maker who was visually impaired using the machine to make beats. Not only visually impaired, but completely blind. And uh, I was mightily impressed by that. Sorry, I can't remember your name right now because I couldn't find our email thread, but shout out to you. I noticed in the machine beta that the new version has the NI accessibility helper functions, which helps you pretty much it tells you when you push things what they what they are training mode on and it's been apparently a success with a complete control now it's coming out for the machine too i don't know if it's completely new it's access for the machine which i think is a very dope thing if you are visually impaired you should be able to make all the beats you want and there's no reason that you shouldn't be able to because we can make the accessibility tools to do it. However, in this video, I was a little bit intrigued by the idea of trying to make a whole beat myself on the machine standalone without using my vision. Let us go. I'm gonna start by grabbing a sample from a record or two. I'll make something simple, not super complicated. This is gonna be hard enough as it is. Okay, uh, let's go. Okay, first of all, I can't hear anything. I need to make my way to the sampling menu. Go to the right. Turn on the monitoring. Not here. Maybe one more. There we go. And I also don't want, want the threshold mode. Success. All right, let's do just one more record. This was kind of cumbersome. Jeez, how can it be so hard to fit the peg on the hole? Peg in the hole. There. I'm going to give this its own group. Now, I can't remember if the sampling menu is still up or if I have to bring it up. We're going to have to do a... Yeah, I don't want to mess anything up. Let's, let's just try something. Okay, we're prepared. Yeah, and uh, not a fan. Ah, more. kind of nice we got our samples we're good to go we're gonna chop them up i think first on group tree 
I'm going to try to get some drums in there first. It's going to be way too hard to just get every single sample. So I'll just load up a group. Group. I'll just load up a group. Very nice drums on that one. Is this load or is this load? Oh shit. There we go. Okay, I think I need to lower the volume on this somehow. I think the mixer is here, right? Nope. <sighs> Jesus. All right. Uh, let's make it out of the mixer menu again. Now I want to be in plugin. And I want to go to sound. And I want to just a little bit the kick. No, I have no idea where I am. I have to cheat. I'm sorry. The f how did I? All right. Sampler menu. Now we got to figure out the tempo. Maybe it's easier just to tap it in. All right, let's try to make a drum pattern. I'll try to find velocity mode. Let's try to chop some samples on this, and I think this can take hours if I'm going to add more stuff than that. We'll start with the samples, see how far I get. I'm going to try to copy this group and I'm going to try what is if I can manage to put a filter on it that's going to be a challenge jackpot Man. 
Maybe something like that. Add another effect. Now, if my calculations are right, I should still be on the filter. We have no fucking clue where what the other stuff is. <laughs> okay, this is amazingly difficult. Real time. I don't know, it's been like an hour now. Final challenge will be to try to make a bass line. We'll see how that goes. That, that we'll just have to do. Jeez, I gotta tune it. You know what? This is quite enough for me. There's a lot of fun stuff you can do with the other samples, but I'm glad I can opt out. Let's do the final performance. Right, that's it. Thank you, La. Honestly, I was way overconfident about this. I thought I was going to be able to whip up a banger. Some shit. Simple boom bap loop. That's what I managed. Okay, bye-bye.